It's St. Patrick's Day next week, and so it's the season of the Reuben sandwich. And you'll find in the grocery store that a lot of the ingredients you need for a Reuben sandwich are at really good prices right now. So sauerkraut and corned beef and rye bread, lots of times you'll find sale prices on those. And speaking of a Reuben sandwich, Typically, they're grilled, just like a grilled cheese sandwich. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make an open face sandwich, and I call it a Reuben puff, and you'll see why when we get to the end. I'm going to um, first start by measuring two cups of sauerkraut into a measuring cup, but I don't want any liquid this time, and so I'm just going to transfer this to some paper towels and pat it really, really dry. Now, I'm just going to set that dr nice and dry sauerkraut aside for a few minutes because I'm going to put some onions. This is just one medium onion that I've cut into chunks. I'm going to put it in my food processor. You could use a blender too with eight ounces of Swiss cheese that I've just cut into big chunks. There. Now when my cheese and onion is just nice and kind of little crumbs, it's not real smooth, it's just crumbly. At that point, I'm going to add a tablespoon of mustard and some mayonnaise, about three-fourths cup of mayonnaise. And a little ground pepper too. I like a little black pepper in there just to jazz it up a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to pulse this a little bit just to blend it. There, that's ready. Now, I've toasted a couple pieces of rye bread, and actually, this amount of mixture will probably make about eight open-faced sandwiches. Put them on a cookie sheet. I like to line it with a little bit of foil to make cleanup easy. Spread a little mustard on the toast. And then some corned beef, of course and over the top, a little bit of this sauerkraut mixture. Now they're ready to pop under the broiler, about eight inches below the, the hot broiler elements, probably for about six minutes. Pull it out of the broiler and look at this. It's a Reuben puff, perfect for St. Patrick's Day. I'm Sue Doden and I'm all about food.